NFL Week 14, Top 5, Bottom 5. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, South's premier sports gambling destination. Six incredible sports books. You can find more information on all of them over at tunicatravel.com. You can go over to winningcureseverything.com, find out everything about us. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're on the podcast, hit subscribe, leave us a review. Let's jump in. We're doing uh, the bottom five first. We'll start with number 32. And at this point, I... Okay. How do you... You want to go first? We're trying to figure out how to attack this. Yes. Are we judging what we've seen only for the entire 14 weeks? Are we thinking about how do we think they would play if they played right now? Because, see, that's totally different. Yeah. I, I, the resume tells you that the skins are way better than some of these teams. But if you're talking about who would win this week, next week, and the week after, the skins are DFL. We agree with that, right? Yes. I mean, I, I had the skins in last week. Yeah, but no, not just in. They would be 32 if yeah. we're only looking at how we think they are going forward, not the resume. Because you can't take away all the wins on the resume. No, you're right. That's the that's the hardest part of doing this. I'm going to do it based on the entire body of work of what we've seen to this point, 14 weeks. I do not care what tomorrow brings because we're all day-to-day and we might not be here tomorrow. Okay. So with that being said, my number 32 team is still the Oakland Raiders. I've got the Cardinals at 32. I have the Raiders at 31. I've got the Cardinals at 31. Okay, so it's I, the, the, the same. win against the win against the Steelers does not do a lot for me. Jacksonville almost beat them three weeks ago, and they lost last week. Like yeah. this is a team that I don't know that the Steelers are very good. Arizona, two of their wins are against the Forty ers who we also have on here pretty down low. But yeah, Forty ers are number thirty for me. Yeah, they're they're we we're we're the same on that. <laughs> we're the same on that. But I just I just think. I, I'm I'm not giving too much credit to the Raiders. I think this team is just bad. Yeah, I I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, we just covered those three. Number twenty nine. Uh, so I, I'll tell you this. I feel like I was piling on to the Redskins. Okay. So I I took them out this week. <laughs> totally out. Just total totally out oh. of my top. Or totally out of my bottom five. Okay. Now that doesn't mean that I don't think that they are garbage. Yeah. But I had to make room for a couple of teams. Okay. I'm for it. 29, I've got the Jaguars. Hey! We're seeing the world very similarly. The Jags are a dumpster fire. I don't know what they're going to do. The resume the is bad, and we think they're bad, too. So that, yeah. that double kills them. So it equals. Who, it equals uh, who you got 29? That's, that's my only reason for taking the skins out is I'm not taking away the fact that they won six games, and they've got some wins against playoff teams. But they were 6-2. and two. Yeah. Like, they're like – they're, they're not a bad team until they started falling apart. And and that you can't dismiss. It's hard to believe in them now, but yeah. you can't make that go away. My 29 team is the Jags. My 28 team, I'm curious if we're the same here. I don't know if we will be. I've still got the Jets here. I think the Jets are a bad team. I know they just won. They uh, Now, they, to, they beat another bad team. They got to beat another bad team. But I'm going to keep the Jets and the Bills out of my bottom five. All right, so you don't even have the Bills in. I thought if you didn't have the Jets, it'd be Buffalo because they beat So them. if it's not Buffalo, if it's not uh, the Jets, if it's not the Skins, who would you think I would have here? I don't know. Let me look at the standings. I, I really don't know. Um, I, I, I don't even look at the standings. I don't, I'll just I, no, say, then you, I don't know. You, you will agree with me. this. The Atlanta Falcons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one to put in here. The Atlanta Falcons are... Man, no heart. They are no pride. A, a, a tire fire. No, they're just bad. They they're are so really bad. bad. They, think about how many different fires. That dumpster fire, trash fire, they're garbage, they're a tire fire. Your boy they, tried to tell you this before the season started. Oh, I know. Steve Sarkeesian is really, really bad at his job. I think he, I think he will lose his job. I can't believe he hasn't already. I think they're going to wait until... But Why? He, and now, it, it, tell me this. What has he done to earn the right to finish the season out? So we believe it's okay to fire Mike McCarthy in the middle of the season. He's won a Super Bowl, which I agree with. And I justify. Yeah, if I mean, it's, okay, if look, he's I'll done, he's done. Why not just fire him now? And maybe you can salvage a win or two. So there's, there's two different ways of looking at this, right? 
Um, and don't like who cares about salvaging a win or two? Like who who cares? Um, I think I think Dan Quinn does because if he fires him and Dan Quinn wins a a, a game or two at the end of the season, maybe Dan Quinn don't get fired because I think he's pretty damn close to to that. I don't too. think Quinn's getting fired. I, I think Arthur Blank loves him, loves Dan Quinn. So. Uh no because he like he'll have to make some staff changes but oh I think the whole staff changes I don't know that anybody stays but Quinn if well, Quinn's gonna this, keep his the, job Quinn's the only person there today that was there yesterday this is this is a spot where you could see Dave Aranda pop up defensive coordinator I've heard that name floated out there I don't know that I'd go into the NFL as I was a DC if I was an OC oh, no, we, an we, we talked about run, that before but yeah. Uh, but yeah I, I I'm with you um yeah I. I think if if it is inevitable that you were going to fire him, what is the purpose? Why not? Like just go on and get it get it done. Because like it doesn't say it doesn't help say, anybody. Let's say you promote up the quarterback coach, okay? Because that's your natural progression. But offensive line coach, whoever the hell you promote up, let's say the offense starts looking really good. At least you've done right by that guy, and maybe that's your new OC, and you kind of get off on the cheap. And you or hire you've at least internal. given him. Or you've a given him to... an opportunity because football is supposed to be a meritocracy we say it all the time but guys that are bad at their job continually get jobs that tells me it's not a meritocracy and that's all bullshit it's a good old boy network hugh jackson is about to get another head coaching job in the same division like 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 (laughs) if if he hasn't given you the resume to say he doesn't belong then i don't know what's gonna i don't know what does that no you're right so all the footballs and meritocracy excuses that we use for for why this guy starts and why this guy gets an opportunity and why this guy no it's all it's all bullshit. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, let's jump into you got the Jets at twenty eight, right? I got the Jets at twenty eight. Let's jump into our top five. Uh, you want to go top down? I mean, we can. Yeah. I mean, I, all of it's just kind of up in the air right now. I've I've got the Saints back at number one. I'm gonna bet we've got the same top four. Maybe we're maybe we don't. I actually don't. I have the. I, if you listen to the other podcast where we break down, I oud and odd over some of that in the the week fourteen I'm, recap. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the I have the Rams at the number one spot. I've watched I got I've the watched Rams the Saints. Two. I've watched the Saints struggle two weeks in a row to score points. They won one of those games, cover the number, still looked fine in the second half, but but they went six straight quarters and did nothing. Yeah, and and that's just. The the Rams are too, and I know the Rams didn't score an offensive touchdown. I was about they to say the, the points, Rams, but they <laughs> they played the best defense in the country, in in and that's their only bad offensive game. Well, and the Saints played the Cowboys, which it's hard to argue okay. with numbers right now okay. because they're pretty pretty good defense. But the Saints have two games like that. One of those games is Tampa Bay. Well, it, it so was, how good so is Tampa Bay was def- for a half? How good is the Cowboys defense? How good is the Cowboys defense? If they look the exact same as Tampa Bay's defense, uh, no, okay, uh, yeah, right. but uh, but Dallas's defense has looked good against uh, pretty much everybody. Well, bad teams. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I mean, have right. any of the teams that they've looked good against been great offensive teams? No, not not okay. in the slightest. That's right. But but how many great offensive teams are there? Uh, there's about four or five. They just don't play the Cowboys. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's Thank four God. or five, and I think we got most of them they're in all, our top five. right here. We're splitting hairs. Yeah. I'm I'm riding with right, Sean so, McVay. So you got the, I got the, you got the Rams two. one, and I've got the Saints one. I got the Rams two. You got the Saints two. We both got Chiefs three. Chiefs three, no question. At least until Thursday. So, at least until Thursday. Right now, right. I can't look forward because I don't know what's going to happen. I might not make it to Thursday. That's a good point. I get hit by a bus tomorrow. I'm not going to be here, and whatever happens Thursday happens. I got the Chargers four. I got the Chargers four also. I got the and Bears I, five. And that. And that difference between the Chargers and the Chiefs is, is solely is, because week one the Chiefs beat them, but I don't think those are two of the same teams as they were in week one. You're probably right. And the and the Chargers got unlucky. Nobody knew what to expect with this Chiefs team week one. No, you're right. You, you're right. You wanted to play them like week three or week four. Not that it was easy, and they still beat up on everybody, but at least you kind of know what you're getting into. Well, now the Chargers week, have to go to <clears> – <throat> Uh, yeah, but they've been. This is a divisional team in the rain. They, they go to Arrowhead all the time. I understand that, but uh, my number don't, five. Don't forget, like the the. Yeah, we'll do this in NFL yeah. previews. My my number five team, I I have both of them written down. I have the Patriots. And I have the Bears. Um, at this week it's got to be the Bears after a win over the Rams and after the Patriots lose at Miami. It's it's got to be. They got the same record. I understand the Patriots beat the Bears, 
But right now, if you add all the wins up to all the teams that beat the Patriots, they don't equal the Patriots' total wins. Like, that's bad. Yeah. I mean, I guess they probably do because the Dolphins have seven in the in four. I mean, that's an exaggeration. But, but like, before that, it was – Like, it's really bad. Yeah. it's uh, they All they the just, good teams, though? They, they Patri- beat up on the good teams. Patriots – yeah. yeah, they beat the good teams, and then they play down to the level of competition. They're all on the road, and they're all just shitty teams with yeah. bad quarterbacks. Bears are number five for me. That's probably right. You got to go Bears this week. That's probably right. Look, nobody, nobody has liked the Bears more than me on this podcast. That's I mean, look, the Bears got gonna, the Packers I'm this week. You're right. They they could feasibly lose. I nope. don't think they will. Nope. Nope. Um, but the Patriots got the Steelers. If they go out and show out against the Steelers, then then you can toss them in next week. We I don't do it again next week. I think we're going to have some things change next week. I think you're probably right. All right, that wraps up our NFL top five, bottom five for week 14. As always, go to tunicatravel.com, go to winningcureseverything.com. Let's do this.